Hello! Welcome to the first video recorded on my new PC setup. These are all the specs, if you're wondering, it's on the screen now. Don't judge me, this is a budget PC, but it does the job. So, the reason I got a PC is because I used a really outdated 2012 iMac to play VR. That does not sound ideal, does it? Which is why we're here, with a new PC. New. Don't ask why I'm using a graphics card from 2016. We can, we can just ignore that. Figure. But anyways, now that I have an actually decent PC set up to play VR, now I can do stuff like playing Beat Saber in VR and stuff. And Beat Saber. And girl, it's This is so much better for me because on the Mac, I could only see through one eye, which sucked terribly. And also I'd get random frame drops. So yeah. Uh, let me explain what I'm gonna do in this video. So, I'm gonna do just a bunch of stuff I would usually do, like day-to-day -day tasks, for example, like playing VR games. So we'll test a bunch of VR games, and then also like video editing, 3D modeling, and all that. So yeah, we're just gonna run a bunch of tests on this PC to see how well it holds up in all of those categories. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, we are now in Beat Saber. These are like the, uh, I put on the default settings, apart from I installed a couple mods. We're just gonna play through a normal song. Let's go with the master. It's a banger. Actually, it's kind of hard to talk over because there's vocals in it, but we'll try. Okay, it's a bit loud to talk over, but this is playable, yeah. The graphics look pretty sick. Like, this, like I haven't been able to use Beat Saber on PC before. So, as a quest user, the graphics look sick. And if you purchase Beat Saber on the quest store, then you can get it on the PC store. So that's pretty sick. I'm just gonna try and play the song through. I'm gonna stop talking over it, and yeah. The fans on my PC don't seem to be going really fast. Or it's just hard to tell how loud the fans are. I, I keep yapping over this, but I'm just trying to like add commentary. So yeah, we're on expert mode by the way. Because I, I don't feel like doing expert plus. Because I have skill issue. I mean I could do expert plus. But I'm sticking with expert just so then I actually have something that's like manageable. Like I can do expert plus. Like I can do expert plus. But like just like I'd usually get like a B or like an A. Like I'd probably miss a few bits. Expert, I can get an X on it easy, so we're sticking with we're sticking with expert, because that's what I'm good at the most. I just I just I just said that while I'm missing a block. Wait. I'm not a beat table pro, don't expect anything impressive. Okay, and that's the end. I'll have to look back on the recording to see how smooth it is and stuff, but hopefully it's good. So yeah, that's, that's just a quick Beat Saber test, and we'll move on to the next thing. Okay, I'm in a modded lobby by myself, but that's kind of boring, so I'm gonna invite my friend Dark Blue just to do a few extra tests with Bark. <laughs> to show this cosmetic that I bought today and I'm not proud of myself. What is it? The party hat. Huh. Wait, why did you buy the party hat though? I'm just wondering. Did you like it or I just bought it? No. I'm you're trying to be a completionist. I, I, I wanted to, to create the most weird uh, combo on the planet. For some reason there's like hands here. You got you probably can't see it, but there's like two grey hands here. I don't know why that's there but it is. We'll start off simple with um punch mod. Oh. 
Can you see me grow? You probably can't. He's smarting, he's smarting. There's a firefly following you now. Uh, I can see the bug through the walls. Oh, I hit my head. Oh, I hit my head. Oh. Uh, yeah. Spawn as many uh, gorillas as possible. Alright, I'm back. And I have the mod installed. Did I, did I scare you? <laughs> Man, you scared me so bad. Okay, yeah, I've, I've had that problem before. Anyways, but I'm gonna spawn in a bunch of gorillas and let's just see what happens. I think I'm in gorillas right now. Oh, what the heck? Why is Doug frozen in the air? Oh, I grabbed him. I got him, I got him. There's just a sea of gorillas, and I still have full FPS. Right, let's try explosives. I'm gonna spawn in a C4. Okay. Rockets! Okay, okay, rockets, rockets. Come on. Okay, I'm back. Okay. That was something. Oh, you clutched. You're technically my test subject. Yeah! Melon Callan. You are indestructible to melons. Side view. I'm Steve. Thanks for helping me out, Dark Blue. I'm gonna hop off and continue recording in a different game. We are in the next game. The lab. Wow, it's a Valve game. This this is one of the OG Steam VR games, and it came out around the time my graphics card came out, which is 2016. Don't judge. I know I've already said that, but please don't judge. This seems to be running all right. Just to let you know, everything is like full resolution, by the way. Like my Steam settings are full resolution. So let's try going to one of these places, doggy. Anyways, let's just try going to one of these places. So. Um, this one seems like it would be the most graphically intensive, so let's just, let's go in here. Okay, we are at perfect frames per second. What's that? Hold on. We got it, okay. We got the golden balloon gun. Right, let's see. Wow. I wonder if I spawn in enough, it'll make the game lag, because there's already a lot of balloons on screen. Maybe if I add enough, oh, that's a giant balloon. Maybe if I add enough balloons, it might make it lag. I don't even know how to make it lag. This is just, this isn't really a stress test. This is just more like a, let's see what VR games work. I just realized the balloons start to pop. That's, that's a smart way. Okay, let's go back. Oh yeah, I also wanted to show this thing. If you get this cable thing and you go to this valve here, if you put the cable in the valve, it takes you to a secret room and it takes you into this just realistic office room. But I don't even, I don't understand how Valve manages to make these really realistic. It has to be like a photo scan or something. Let's do this. I don't really get the point here. You just, you just get a ping pong paddle and you just, you just, you're just supposed to hit the balls. Like, I guess it's fun. But yeah, this is, um, this is a smart way of showing the history of how Valve developed room scale VR. <laughs> and if you put the VR headset on, it takes you to the second room, which has the Atlas robot from Portal 2. Just standing there. I don't I don't know why he's here, he's just chilling. Well he, he gets scared if you go up to him. Anyways, if you pull this level down, the controllers go in your hands like this and balloons rain from the sky. And if you hold on the triggers, you get needles. If you hold on the grip, it spawns in lasers, but only for a short time, so you kind of just have to spam them. Anyways, that is enough of the lab for now. Doggy, I'm gonna have to go now. I'm gonna... Yeah.
I say 3D modeling in quotation marks because it's not really 3D modeling, it's just posing a figure. Well, that's all I've done so far. I might do more with Blender, I don't know. But everything I've tested in Blender runs perfectly fine as long as you don't use it in Cycles because Cycles makes it lag. And also if you try to render it in Cycles and it just becomes a dotty mess. So yeah, other than that, Blender's been pretty good. So yeah, approved. This entire video was edited on the PC using CapCut Desktop and I've had zero lag, zero stutter. It's literally been perfectly fine. No lag at all. So yeah, approved.